Aloha and welcome back to Yama Studios. My name is Hannah Maruyama. I am a scalp micropigmentation practitioner here at Yama Studios, which is a paramedical tattoo clinic based in Honolulu, Hawaii. Today, I'm gonna to be answering one of the most frequently asked questions about scalp micropigmentation hair tattoo. And that is, does scalp micropigmentation damage your hair follicles? This is one of the most surprising things that I found when I began as a practitioner. Scalp micropigmentation is actually a very close cousin to something that's relatively new to the aesthetics field. It's called microneedling. You might have heard of it before, but the essential principle is something called controlled microinjury. People have discovered that when you cause controlled microinjury, so really tiny, either pokes to the skin with needles, abrasion, or even chemical peels, that the skin will actually regenerate itself, boosting collagen and blood flow to that area. A side effect of microneedling is actually hair growth. So what has started happening is when folks have micropigmentation done, they realize that they do get a small amount of free growth. Sometimes what happens is your hair follicle areas get damaged or there's scar tissue and microneedling is really good at combating those things. So scalp micropigmentation takes three weeks to do. Um, there's going to be one appointment every seven days minimum. And what happens during these appointments is that while you are getting a hair tattoo with the scalp micropigmentation, it's also causing controlled microinjury to your scalp and your scalp heals very quickly. So within seven days, your scalp is going to be healed. And what's happening is folks are seeing regrowth of their hair because blood flow is being brought to the area to heal and regenerate those areas. And so actually scalp micropigmentation is really good for hair regrowth. It's a surprising side effect of something that's already a really effective, if not the most effective hair loss solution on the market. So that's actually one of the really fun things I'm able to share with a client when they come in to have their scalp micropigmentation is that they may experience some baby hairs growing in areas where they didn't have it before. And that's really cool. I understand where this misconception comes from because you think if you're causing injury to the skin, they are actually going to discourage hair growth. Now, this would be true if you were doing SMP incorrectly, as in you were oversaturating the skin, you were using a huge needle to do this or shading the skin as you would in a traditional tattoo. But because of the precise and tiny nature of the needles used in SMP, the opposite is actually true. Now, this is relatively a new phenomenon as well. This controlled microinjury is becoming widely adopted by dermatologists, plastic surgeons, and estheticians as they look for new ways to heal the skin. But all along, scalp micropigmentation practitioners have been doing the same thing. Now we just know what it's called. So if you're interested in learning more about this phenomenon, please feel free to ask me any questions. Um, I do appreciate you watching today, and uh, I hope this answered your question about whether or not scalp micropigmentation damages your hair follicles. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video, subscribe for more, and then if you wanna get in contact with me, either for a consultation, for a private question, or for advice on finding a practitioner in your area, go ahead and contact me below. Either shoot me a DM on Instagram, send me a Facebook message, or you can contact me at my email, which is on my website below, which is yamstudios.co. Thank you so much for watching and aloha.